Hey guys, Kevin the Comic Doctor coming to you from my shop here in Oshawa, Ontario, Canada for another edition of What's in the Press. Well, this week I have a lot of awesome Silver Age goodness to share with you. But before we get there, take a moment, won't you, and hit the subscribe button, the like button, and leave a comment below to increase your chances of winning some free grading by CGC and pressing by me, the Comic Doctor. Okay, without further ado, here we go. Okay, so first we got a batch of books coming to us from Mark out of Whitby. And Mark submits a copy of Fantastic Four uh, 7 and Fantastic Four 20, as well as a nice copy of Fantastic Four 60. And now a few Spider Man, including Amazing Spider Man number 19, Amazing Spider Man number 24, 26, and finally a nice copy of Amazing Spider Man 40. Thank you, Mark, for your submission. Okay, now for something a little bit different. Uh, we have some magazines sent in by Joel out of Maryland. Uh, magazines are something I don't do very often at the shop. They, they take a little more time. Um, they require more space in the press, obviously. These are quite large in comparison to a comic book. I mean, just give you an idea. So you can imagine, you know, the space it does take in a press. I can do far less magazines than I can do uh, comic books. Needless to say, I do, I can work on them and I have worked on them and Joel's one of my regular customers when it comes to magazines. Um, but anyways, for more information on that, you can go to my website and see my uh, uh, price breakdown for magazines. Anyways, we start off with a nice Sports Illustrated from uh, 1965. Joel then submits a couple of nice Mickey Mantle Time Magazine covers from the 50s, I believe. Another Sports Illustrated from 1956. Another Mickey Mantle from 1962. These are really quite large. I hope I can, I can get most of them on the screen there for you. Another Sports Illustrated from 1960, 1960 I believe. 1955, April 1955 Sports Illustrated. And these don't fit, these are really large. <laughs> they don't fit perfectly in my screen. And my tripod won't go any higher, so that's the best I can do with these right now. I love this one here with Muhammad Ali, Cassius Clay from 1964. Then another one from 1956. And finally, October 11, 1965. So again, something a little bit different, some magazines. Thank you, Joel, for your submission. Okay, well, while Joel's magazines are now finished, clean pressed, and will be shipped back this week, this next batch comes to us all the way from Alabama. That's right, all the way from the heart of Dixie. And uh, these come from Tim. Uh, Tim sends a, a nice selection of, of comics. Um, now, these are not have not been worked on yet. They are coming up probably the next week or so. These books will be next. Uh, the next one's going into the press. But anyways, Tim starts off with a beautiful copy of Silver Surfer number one and another nice copy of Silver Surfer number four. Both classic covers, and again, both highly sought after currently. Another book that's uh, starting to go up in value and, and popularity is Iron Man and Submariner number one. A Fantastic 448. I actually picked up a copy of this for myself, a CGC copy out of British Columbia back at Christmas time, and I'm glad I did, because that one's starting to heat up a lot as well. The Fantastic Four number 50. Tim also submits a copy of Tales to Astonish 93. That's another popular one I see quite often here uh, at the shop. Uh, some modern books, including Nova number one, Marvel Spotlight 32, featuring the first appearance of Spider Woman, another one I just picked up recently. And a really nice copy of New Mutants 98. And again, notice it is the newsstand edition. This book in the newsstand copy is valued slightly more. Well, I don't know about slightly more, but it's more valuable than the direct edition. Again, another one that Tim, you and I have similar tastes. I went out and bought three or four copies of this about two months ago. Uh, one of them I cracked out of the slab and it's back at CGC now, so hopefully I can get a nice high grade on that one. Now, that's the best for last with Tim's books here. Tim also submits a copy of X Men number three with the first appearance of the Blob, X-Men number two with the first appearance of the Vanisher, and of course the pièce de résistance, the, the one that everybody's looking for these days, a nice copy of X-Men number one. And if I'm not mistaken, Tim, you can correct me if I'm wrong, I believe this was picked up in Toronto. Uh, traveled all the way down 
to your neck of the woods and shipped right back up again to be cleaned and pressed by me. And I'll be, it'll be heading to Florida, the Sunshine State, very soon to be great. Tim, thanks so much for your submissions. And again, thank you for your patience and your patronage. Certainly appreciate it. All right, thanks so much to those clients for submitting these amazing comic books. I sure hope you enjoyed the selection I put together for you today. Hey, if you have a second, head over to my uh, to my website and sign up to, to receive my newsletter. I send out newsletters like every month and a half to two months, outlining the general happenings here at the shop, turnaround times at CGC, turnaround times for myself, and other information that you will probably find very helpful uh, when dealing with me uh, and having your books pressed, cleaned, and graded. Okay, guys. That'll do it for this episode of What's in the Press. Until next time, you take care of yourselves and keep on reading them comic books. Bye now.